I'm just really glad the show's over. I want to do something about Corey. He's just been really weird since we started the show. He's been drinking all the Red Bull. All of it's gone? Yeah, it's not working out. He's way too hyperactive for me. Oh, 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 freeze, freeze. What are you oh. doing? I was just coming in here to say like season two, I'm gonna bring more energy. I'm gonna be Corey the intern. It better not hit me. I'm just giving you a crown. It better not hit. I barely hit your face. All right, I'm going to lunch. Have a great one. <laughs> This is really, you want this again. So this is the last show. The last of a long litany of Jace Hall episodes. This is it. I would just like to take a moment now to say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This has been the most gross wasted time of, of anything I've ever been associated with. It's an idiotic show, it's a total waste of time. You people need professional help who are watching this stupid show. I am out of here, goodbye, sayonara. That's it, I'm taking these with me. What? Picked up for another season? We have arrived at a multi-award winning video game developer known as Gearbox Software. Gearbox has produced a huge video game franchise called Brothers in Arms. I think they're making Aliens Colonial Marines. We're gonna see if we can sneak a look at it. So, you know, we walk by one of the conference rooms. This looks very alien-ish, so this must have something to do with aliens, maybe. Don't know. Mm, could be. What's that? Nope. Oh. <laughs> We're on the 13th floor with Randy Pitchford. We're in his office. It's pretty amazing. He's got every video game console he's ever owned mounted on the wall. This is sort of acknowledging your history. Look at this guy right here. Like, you can see how I abused the crap out of this Jaguar. And look at this. I, I never peeled the little, the little you're protector keeping it clean. On. I don't know. I just never did. So you know what's interesting is, what I was going to point out is, this is a man who doesn't have anything to hide. He has his back to a glass pane window, so you can see whatever he's doing. No, I mean, you know, the thing there, it's, it's you, know, you know, we want a culture where we're all comfortable with each other, right? And we're comfortable with ourselves, you know, sometimes I'll browse the internet, sometimes I'm working my ass off, you know, whatever. So can you take us and show us the rest of this Yeah, floor? absolutely. This is an awesome conference room, but the thing that I want to point out mm. is the sex pillow. <laughs> I know, dude. Right <laughs> along. You made it look like a bordello in here. I, so. I'm just telling you. I said, Mike, we need something around the outside. And like the next day, this stuff shows up. So, so what is this? What, what, what's on the desk here? This is a Thompson uh, submachine gun. This is a, an airsoft rifle. <laughs> we're making aliens, so we, we need some props to, you know, have some fun in the office. When I was talking about we're going to go fire a pulse rifle today, I'm not talking about an airsoft no, no, pulse we, rifle. Yeah, we I'm talking about a real <laughs> pulse rifle that actually works. An really, actual uh, pulse yeah, rifle. fire pulse rifle with a real Thompson submachine gun and a, uh, a shotgun on the bottom. So this is the, like the actual alien, the Colonial Marines weapon you saw in the movies. And right you, there. And you can shoot it. Yeah, this is a live replica of exactly what the Colonial Marines fired in the movie. So just like you, this is a lethal weapon. Well, this <laughs> is this is definitely a lethal weapon, and we're going to get a chance to let you fire it today. Why did you even make this? Why do we have that? Why do we make um, It shoots. It's a real gun. You made a real gun, Randy. Because we can. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> this is, of course, for cinematic purposes. because The digital wanted, am yeah, ammo like, counter? Like, a no soldier can actually see that when he's firing. Should have been placed back here, right? But this is next for better cinematography. <laughs> I just fucking shot a pulse rifle. Now Randy's gonna fire. You gotta let me see it again. Dude, we talked about this. No, 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 seriously. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. You got to fire the gun, though. It's cool. We'll, let's go back to the office. I'll show you Dude. some other stuff. God damn it, Cohagen. The people need air. Borderlands is an original game. It's a science fiction first person shooter, but it's also a role playing game. You know, you play it like a game like Halo, but you're collecting loot and stuff like World of Warcraft or Diablo, and there's tons and tons of loot. This is Pandora. Pandora is a planet way out in the outskirts of space. We're looking through the eyes of Roland, who's a soldier class character. That's Mordecai. Mordecai's being played by Mike McVeigh, and Justin's here playing the uh, playing Roland. This is called an Alpha Skag. He's, oh, he leveled up. He's level 12 now. That's actually happening in a first person. So is there a, is there a level cap in this? Um, I don't know like yet. This? this is chest has some, eh, all right. Not very good. Can you cheat? Go, go down to this, the cave in here and just like start spawning weapons. Just spam the whole area, just throw out like. These are all different weapons. Every single different. one's different and they're all procedurally generated. You can take all the guns in every 
game on the Xbox 360, every game on the PlayStation 3, you can add them all together and Borderlands has more. It's got a very Mad Max vibe to it. It's like kind of Mad Max meets Firefly. Oh my God, that look just took the that, whole top half of the guy off. That was nasty. That's just legs and ass. I see that you, you're enjoying a tasty beverage. Yes. And I noticed that um, down the hall, past the Aliens team, is the kitchen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get something to drink? Do you get, actually, you mentioned Aliens. I'll tell you what I can show you. Come oh, out here okay. for a second. Okay. If you'll notice, the, the walls of the alien section are all like covered with this artwork that these concept artists developed for us. You guys can get some shots of this. Let's go get a drink though. What do you want? Lemonade. Lemonade, all right, I get Mountain Dew. And I'll tell you, you know, it's rare that we let people come to our studio and, and you know, there's not a lot of people I can trust. Oh, what, what, what? Hey. Did you, no, 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 no. Right the, the I was just framing. No, 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 it wasn't. Randy said we could just come look here. Oh, dude, my lemonade. Go away. Nothing to see here. I got kicked out of Gearbox, but I'm here at id Software because they're in Texas, too. I called up Todd Hollingshead. He's the CEO of id. Id makes Doom, Quake, all these other huge games that are just awesome. Who are you? Jason Hall. Do you know Jason Hall? From... That's a good question. From where? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is just sort of our trophy case. We've got a little bit over here, a little bit over there, all the awards and stuff we've won over the years. Some of the, you know, interesting boxes that we, you know, you wouldn't see on the shelves, like the Korean version of Wolfenstein. The original shotgun from Doom. That's actually that's, that's the actual shotgun from Doom. This is it. We have a special trophy case for the Emmy uh, that the company won a couple of years ago. Um, you know, special TV award. The special Emmy that you won. Yeah, you know, like the TV Emmy. Like, like this is a full scale Emmy. Yeah, this is like the real deal. Wait, aren't you supposed to like insure this for like fifty thousand dollars or something? Yeah, so we just kind of hid it in a closet. You want to hold it? No, drop it. I won't. Carmack will kill us both. They got the Emmy for. Uh, uh, technology and engineering, id software. John, when he won it, we were walking through the hotel uh, lobby, he actually mentioned that it would be an awesome melee weapon. You know, all, all the video game awards are out front, <laughs> proudly displayed, but the television awards at a video game company in the storage room. We are in the Doom room. So you start at the top, now we're literally in id hell. This is id hell, this is the dungeon, this is where Doom Four is being built. Look. They don't. They don't seem to be doing a whole lot. I, I need this game. Uh, they need to chop chop. Break time's over pretty soon. Though I'll actually get back to work. Okay. Then. But, okay. I feel better. The Doom Four area. We're here with John Carmack. Some, some of you know who, who he is, but for those of you who are watching who don't, he's a genius. He's developed 3D engines and technologies and a veritable first-person shooter industry. So, all hail. I actually found out that you have been studying judo. I enjoy judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu as I, you know, it's a form of exercise that lets you apply a little bit of mental process to things. Well, I can tell you this. Um, I didn't take any fighting uh, classes at all. I'm a big crybaby, so I was hoping that you could maybe show me a judo move or two. To start off with, in judo, you would be facing each other, and then the objective is you try and grab your opponent and throw them down to the ground. Then you work on trying to secure some form of either a pin or a submission. You either try to bend an arm in a direction that it doesn't want to go, or you try and choke the person, either cutting off the blood or the air. At that point, the smart competitors will tap. You know, just tap twice to signify, I give up, you win. Okay. If I approach this like you were down at this point here, okay. I would be going to strangle from the rear. Okay. It would be a matter of encircling the neck, getting a little bit of leverage here, and then squeezing like that. And at that, at that point, point, the smart, smart competitors, competitors will, will tap. tap. You know, just tap when you're, you know, when you don't want to, you know, just tap. Uh, are you okay? That was the, the tap part. Jason, don't give your back to the Carmack. Carmack, I'm coming for you. 
That was the weirdest sensation I've ever had in my whole life. Did you get that on camera? Wow. Give him a hug, please. <laughs> I'm yeah, so I'm stunned. sorry about that. I thought I explained the tapping a little bit more clearly. Well, you know, you know what? I can tell you. <laughs> it felt like falling asleep. Mm -hmm. And then, and then just, it was real hard to wake up. That, that's the only way mm -hmm. I could describe it. That was awesome, dude. It's a good thing you didn't wet your pants. Carmack, coming for you. I have heard so much about this Rage game that you guys are doing, and I was just wondering if you could show me a, a, a show me the first playable demo. You know, you really need to talk to Tim Willits about that. Take that! Taking him down. We're taking him down. This is not. This isn't a playable demo, yeah, we're Tim. Fun. This is not what I signed up for. This is not a playable demo. This is better. This is the prototype. This is how we make games. This is how we get the players into the game. We need to be in it ourselves. Is this the secret sauce of it? You see, Rage, we go for realistic simulation. And we and we prototype stuff. This is us prototyping the game. This is the game. This is the experience we want people to have. Mutants, we got bandits. We got other cars. There's Speed Racer. Damn, speed Racer! Uh, suck that, Speed Racer. Who's your bitch now? Uh, I'll make you my bitch. The cops are gonna pull us Hey, this, this is Texas. People do this all the time here. So this is new. That's yeah, brand new. Yes. We haven't released this yet. Oh. Okay. What we were trying to do with this is start out the trailer by showing the magnitude of the Rage world. Is this all in your your technology? Yep. This is all all in Tech Five. Um, it shows the personality of the world. It shows that there's more to this game than just running around in the dark shooting things. I don't understand. What? what where's the brown? Some of our mutants, some of our bandits, some of our more uh, normal characters. Wow, this looks great. If you're looking for fame, if you're looking for glory, prove yourself on the dusty eight. You think you can drive? Yeah, this is all all in game. This is all. Uh, this is all in the game. This yes. is the game. Yeah, this yes. is in game action. Yes. Dude, it looks like a movie. That, that's what we're going for. It's a lot different than anything that uh, we've done before. Yeah, it is. So you like Rage? It's dude, it's awesome. Cool. It, it looks like a movie. Yes, yes, we're very excited about it. But what? we're working on something else. Take a guess. Are you serious? Yes, the next Doom game. Doom 4. Yes, yes. And uh, you wanna go check it out? I do. We'll need this flashlight. Okay. All right, you'll see, come on. This is Doom Design? I'm trying to get it right. This game's gonna be awesome. Perfect. It's ready to go. Thanks for having me here. Rage looks fantastic. Uh, the first playable was amazing. You were in the game. The, what you guys are doing on the Doom stuff is, is, is mind-blowing. I've never seen design like that before. So, Todd, thanks for having me, allowing me to come. Tim, thanks thank for giving us the insight, and we're out. What kind of job? Uh, she tell you? Front desk. Assistant. But the thing that's funny about that is I've been here for a while, I'm Corey the intern, and I'm gonna be moving up in the world pretty soon. I'm like the Jeffersons, moving on up, so I'm gonna be there pretty soon. Is everybody soon. here? I'm here, I don't this understand. This is all of you? Marty, mm -hmm. okay. there's, there's a little concern. We have a bunch of people here, and I just I just was wondering like, what they're doing here. They said that's they were cool. invited I got by it. you. I got it, Yvonne? Hi, hi, no, but what are, come on back. What are they doing here? They're here to take your job. <laughs> that's good, no, really, why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say how I know this, but dolphin tastes nothing like chicken. That's awesome.